In this video, I'll show you how to find outliers in SPSS. I'm using SPSS 28, but this should work for most older versions of the software. I'm going to look at these two variables, height and weight, to see if there are any outliers. Click Analyze. Descriptive Statistics. Explore. Move the variable you want to look at to see if there are any outliers into the dependent list box. Click OK. We're given quite a lot of statistics here, but what we're really interested in is this box plot towards the bottom. SPSS has identified number 15 in our data list as an outlier. It's also suggesting number 8. If we go back and look at the data, number 15 was 229 centimetres and number 8, 122 centimetres. So SPSS has tagged both of these as outliers. This time we're going to look at a histogram. Go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. I only want to look at the height, so I'm going to move weight out of the variables box. Choose Charts. Make sure the histogram radio button is showing. Click Continue, then click OK. Scroll down for the histogram. Here we can see that the 225 centimeter entry certainly looks like an outlier. It's important in SPSS to combine these two methods. You'll want to look at the box plot and the histogram when making your decision about whether a data point is a true outlier. Finding outliers is not an exact science, and SPSS uses Tookie's method of 1.5 times the interquartile range. You can think of this as more of a rule of thumb than a set in stone rule, which is why you need to make a judgment call most of the time by looking at the histogram and the box plot. Let's look at our weight variable. Go to Analyze. Descriptive Statistics, Explore, going to move Height out of the box, and place Weight in the box. Click OK. I'm going to scroll down to view the box plot, and this time we see something interesting. We have one circle and one star. The circle tells us it's an outlier. In other words, a data point that is outside of the norm. The star means it's a far out outlier. It's more likely that a starred outlier is a true outlier, but you'll still want to check the histogram and make a judgment call about whether it's a true outlier for your set of data. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.